I sure could use some help. Hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Hey, what's up, Internet? So, your iPad won't turn on, or you got a black screen. Here's the video, the entirety of the video, squeezed into, like, seconds, just so you can see what all's involved. You will need to, some tools. You'll need, like, an electronic screwdriver set. Yeah, and then you'll also need, like, yeah. spatulas. I bought this kit. It's called iFixit. And it's kind of expensive, but if you have one of those or something comparable to that, that's good. You'll also need a heat gun. So uh, more on that later. And yeah, and replacement parts. You'll need those as well. Let's continue. Okay, so first, um, removing the screen is what you need. Now this iPad was pretty beat up. I got it from a friend. He's like, hey, it doesn't turn on. Uh, and you can see here, it it actually kind of does turn on, but you got to look at it just right, and the backlight isn't coming on, is all it is. So oh. if <laughs> if this is your issue, like you can plug in your computer and see that the iPad like plugs in, uh, then this will be the, probably a fix for you. Tiger. Yeah. And there are no tigers here, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to want to go around the outside edge of the iPad and just start scraping away at the, uh, the touch screen. You okay, little man? Yeah, okay, tigers. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. So you can see here it's taking me a little while. Um, I've dropped it. Well, I'm dropping it right here too. I've dropped it before, I, I, and then also uh, others have as well. So the corners are kind of beat up. Uh, yeah, so you can see here it's it's not the easiest to do. I tried with like a butter knife before and that was more difficult. So you, it'd be good to have like one of those wedge, the wedges like I've gotten here, shown here. Um, yeah, and you'll see here uh, like between the screen and stuff you'll see the adhesive. And there's one thing to note, so there's there's the actual screen itself and then the touch screen. And this red mark right here is, is the actual screen, like the LCD screen, I guess. And it usually is mounted down there uh, by like, uh, it's got this metal thing and then a screw goes through it. But those, uh, the metal thing has broken off and now the screen just is, it can like peel up that way. Peel? Uh, the touch screen's peeling, but then there's the video screen. It's kind of confusing if you don't if you don't get it. You know what I mean? So just keep watching, and you'll get it if you don't already get it. Yeah. Uh, there's also a weird thing attached towards the bottom here. I believe that's the antenna. Uh, that's you just gotta pry at that, and it's kind of a pain in the butt as well. But eventually, you go around the edge, and you'll get the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little sticky. Okay, and then you're going to want to remove four screws on the corners. Um, I ended up removing all of them even though they were partially broken. But you, like that one, you can see the, uh, the mount is broken. And then the whole screen lifts up like that. And then there's a, there's a couple like cables, ribbon cables here. You'll see one, I've got the uh, screwdriver. It's a flathead screwdriver, and I'm using that to kind of pull that little lever and then... Yeah, it comes out. And then the other, like, cable. Oh, there you go. There's a broken part. Look at that. Uh, the other cable is for the touch screen. You can see me uh, popping it apart here. It's got, like, these little hinge pop things. And then uh, you pull the cable out. Here I'm being kind of rough with it uh, because I actually did end up cracking the screen. I was just going to order a new one on Amazon. But yeah, once you pull the adhesive from that cable off, uh, you can just pull it out. There's the crack. That's not cool. Uh, yeah, I actually cracked it uh, pulling it apart. So watch out for that. Yeah, and then you'll be able to see the inside. And I'm starting to pry at this little cover right here on the logic board where all the uh, electronics are mounted. Uh, and you'll see that pops off. And that will reveal where the parts are. Uh, and here's what they look like. Um, there's a close look. I don't know. I think that's a transistor. That's a capacitor, resistor, I don't know, some solder. Yeah, and this is the information uh, from where, where I bought it. Yes, that was purchased in 
2014. Wow, it took me a while to get to fixing this and then uh, making this video. Yeah, so here's the parts again. And let's go ahead and take a look at the board. And I'm going to highlight here which ones that we're going to be replacing. So there you go, there are little red dots on them. Uh, that metal thing that's right up next to it, though, I ended up tearing off and not getting that on tape. So my apologies, you're going to have to use like a needle nose pliers or something to just start squeezing at that and twisting and just manhandling it apart and breaking it off yeah so here's some of the first steps of taking off this logic board I uh, um, took a screw out and unplugged uh, the, the first cable there and then here's another one that kinda pulls upward and then there's this other I think it's a power cord that pulls out and then there's the a antenna. I'm thinking that's the antenna. So it's got a screw. You gotta unscrew that. And I'm just gonna start prying at the board, wondering uh, what's going on. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna start prying. That's the part that I ripped out. I was telling you you gotta rip out. Uh, yes. My apologies once again. I didn't get that on tape. A couple more screws. Gotta pull them out. And then there's another uh, cable, and uh, there's actually more screws over here as well. Let's go ahead and do that first. Yeah, so that is, oh look at that, I'm poking at the parts there. Uh, that is all the screws, and then here's the final uh, cable you got to un undo. And then the board is stuck by some adhesive, as you can see there, and then it just pops out. Yes, after I waited a while, for two months, I ended up getting my heat gun in the mail. This is bought from HarborFreight.com. Uh, it was like ten bucks on sale. I think it's maybe fifteen normally. You want to go? To, you want to go to Harbor Freight? Anyway, uh, yeah, they have a website and uh, stores. There's lots of stores in the U.S. at least. Yeah. So once you've got that, uh, you want to go ahead and set up a place to set your board down and heat it up. I use a cookie cooling sheet and some aluminum foil. I got that here, and then I just uh, pop on the heater, and I ho hold it from like a distance that's not too close. I mean, it has a low and a high setting on on the, the heat gun. I keep it on the low setting and just have it about that distance. This is sped up footage, so so keep that in mind. But yeah, and I just hold it about that distance. Here we go, close up. <laughs> Yeah, and then what's happening here is the board, the whole board is heating up and eventually making all the solder molten to where you can just pull the parts. That's pretty cool. That's called a surface mounted part. Um, you got to be careful bumping into other parts because you could knock them out of place or, or yes, or maybe scrape solder off by accident. Um, so I pulled the big part out and I put the, the new one in exactly how the old one like looked coming out. I didn't notice if there was like a positive or a minus. Uh, but yeah, so I put I put the new one in, and that was kind of hard. Uh, this is really really delicate work, you know. It's it's, it's you gotta use tweezers and stuff. Huh? I wonder if the kit comes with tweezers. Hey, you need tweezers as well, I think. <laughs> Here you go, you see me uh, scraping off one of those small parts here. That's uh... Whoop. Maybe that was kind of a pain in the butt as well. This is None of this is easy. And there you go, there's, a, there's the final part that I ended up... So after, this is what it looks like. And that looks really messy. And you'll notice right there where that line is, I've got some solder crossing over from one part to the other. And this part right here looks just you know, all crooked and bad. But uh, th that was the best I could do at the time. Uh, so I just waited and bought another screen and waited for that in the mail. So then I got that. And that was like 20 bucks on Amazon, which I ended up, Either I think it was I broke it putting it in, or or it broke shortly after. But yes, it's, it, the assembly is the same as uh, taking it apart, but in reverse. So yeah, here we go. I got the screen back. It, it kind of wiped it off. It gets uh, it gets messy really easily. What is the glass hiding? What is the glass hiding? It's getting pretty dark outside, though, man. Okay, once. Too late. 
late. Yeah, it's too late. The big kids. Yeah, the, <laughs> the big are the big kids down there. So once you put all the screws in and you've put all the uh, the plugs together, do you want to go ahead and just you'll you'll just put? I guess I got adhesive there. Oh yeah, you can try turning it on, and then bruh, what are you doing, little man? Dad. <laughs> And you can see here it turned on. I was actually kind of excited. It was kind of cool. Um, so there you go. That hopefully will help you out. Maybe you can fix uh, your iPad. Uh, you'll notice here though, it's got some like permanent marks in the actual screen itself, the uh, yeah. the LCD screen. Dad, is this is like I gotta go work. Uh, do I gotta go to work? Oh, I don't know. I think I gotta go to work. Anyway, I think someone sat on this thing or it got dropped like super hard right here. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. And if you're just bored, uh, you can uh, look at my other videos. Here's one uh, how, to, how to clean your EGR valve in your car. Maybe you got a rough idle. I don't know. But yeah, feel free to. Hey, old man. What's up? Feel free to check out my channel and uh, maybe throw a like on the Facebook, you know? Anyway, I hope that helped. See you later, Internet.